I have with me the Yale Link MP56. It's a Microsoft Teams phone. In this video, I'll show you how to use it and some settings that you'll want to change. Yeah. Right, here's the basic layout of the phone. So you have the number pad here, of course. You can start dialing with it at any time. Then you got your speaker button. So if you hit that, you can start dialing as well. And if you pick up the handset from here, you can use that instead. But if you're on a call, you want to hit the speaker button, then place the handset down. Then we have the on hold button here. Transfer call, which also automatically puts the call on the hold first. This is the redial and your volume here. This button looks like a headset and that's what it's for. Just to transfer the call from the speaker or the handset to your headset. And that's obviously the mute button there and your touch screen here and just a status light. And this Teams button is really like a home button. It takes you to the home screen where you kind of have your layout. So let's take a look at that next. All right, so here's the display of the device. I just have a mirroring to my computer just so you can see it better. So I'll be using it on my desk here, but you'll see what I'm doing on the screen there. So this is that your main home kind of home view display and also takes you here when you hit the Teams button. So first of all, right, we have the calls, people, which is just your contacts, that Microsoft calls and voicemail. And if you hit more, there's also a calendar and a walkie talkie. First of all, this can be rearranged and you do so by hitting reorder. So as you saw previously, you can have up to three tiles and then the more tile. So for example, if you want, for instance, the calendar, you just have to take that, this right here, drag this up. Okay, so I'll do that on my actual device. And you'll notice that once I do that, there it is, it dropped the voicemail, so the last one down into the more section, right? Because the home view can only handle three tiles. Okay, so you can rearrange this as you like. And then when you're done, you need to hit the check mark on top here or just back if you don't want to save that. All right, so now let's, let's go ahead and go into it. So again, if you hit the speaker button, it'll actually get you into the calls view, but we can also touch it here on the display and it gets us into calls. If we had the favorites, it would be here. You can hit recent and this will of course show you the recent calls that you had and you can just tap it to call that number. So here, of course, you can dial right on the screen. You can also dial with the physical buttons and it just shows up there. So let's go ahead and call this number. So once I put in, if I put in a 10 digit number like this, it rings it right away. Okay, so my view here is not live, just so you can see that. I can also pause this, turn down the volume. So let's put the call on hold. So now I'm on hold. I can click resume right there in the purple. Right, I can hit transfer or the transfer button on the actual device. So when I hit transfer, I can search for one of my contacts may, or maybe someone that I recently called. I can click this back button right here just to go back to the previous view. I can also do that and this brings me back if I hit the back button again, back to where I was dialing and had my recent. Right, I can even hit the Teams button here on the device and actually go back to my home view and it shows me I'm on the call though, on hold. So I can tap at the top. Okay, so I can hit resume and I'm back in and I can mute myself and it shows you on the display that I'm muted as well. And if you hit more, you can even turn things on like live captions. So as you speak, first I need to unmute myself, but as I speak, you notice that it knows that it's me because I'm signed into this phone and it's a little bit delayed on the screen here, but on the device itself, it's showing me you know, what I'm saying. So that's great. And I can hit the speaker button or end call to end the call. And it gets me back to my home screen. Okay, so next we can touch this uh, tile for people. So that's your contacts, right? You can obviously scroll through this. And for example, I just hit on myself here and you just touch the number that you want to dial. So if I want to dial the work phone, kind of have to place your finger right on that number. So now it's dialing me and I'll just end the call. Okay, so back on the Teams button to the home screen. Then let's hit more and look at the voicemail. Okay, so it showed me the latest one here and the transcript for it. I can hit on this other one here. It'll show me the full transcript for that. I can of course hit play 
to listen to the voicemail. You can hit on the one X there, that small little purple button to make it faster. Pause it. And then the call icon down here is just to call that person. This will add them as a contact and this will delete the voicemail, of course. So let's go back by hitting the Teams button and let's look at the calendar. So this syncs with your Outlook account so you can see anything you have here, any upcoming meetings, and you can even just join them on your desk phone rather than your mobile device or computer. You can delete things and even if you hit the plus sign at the bottom right here, you can even create a new event and add participants, all that. Okay, and then hit the check mark or the X to cancel or the Teams home button to just go back to the home view. So those are the basic functions. Now what you can also do is you can hit your avatar here at the top left and that brings up the sidebar. So here, you know, you can set your work location, connect the device. So this is actually useful. So on the back of your phone, right, you have another port, Ethernet jack, RJ45, that connects your computer's Ethernet port. So once you do that and you click find a device, it'll find your local PC. And so when your computer locks, when your PC locks, it'll also lock the phone. So prevent someone from dialing from your number, listening to your voicemail, things like that. So let's go back and again on that avatar. So we can also click hot desk here, which just means someone else can sign into this phone and use it for a while and then just sign out temporarily. But let's go into settings. So one useful thing is, especially if this is too bright for you, you can go into appearance and thankfully you can have change it to a dark mode as well. Okay, but that will reboot your device. So some of these other settings like manage delegates, you can do all that in your Microsoft Teams app on desktop or on your phone. So there's no need to do that here. In meetings, there's just some options here to make it more lightweight. So you can have a meeting right in here on the phone. Let's click back at the top left. And if you scroll down, you have, you know, you can change your notifications, restart. So some other things here that might be useful is device settings at the very bottom. Okay, so you have your language and time. One thing to know here is that if you do change anything, you always want to hit this check mark at the top right to actually save that. And your display, so your backlight, if that's too bright, you know, you can change how long your, your backlight is on, when it times out, when the screensaver turns on. And then you also have a phone lock that you can just set on this device itself. You can turn on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi if you also, you know, need to connect a Bluetooth device to the phone. And if you keep scrolling down, you know, you can reboot, upgrade, and some other admin settings there and admin password. Okay, and if you're all done, just hit the Teams button again, and that brings you back to your home screen. If you have any questions, any other features you want to see on the desk phone, how to use that, please let me know in the comment section below. And if this was useful to you, you learned something new, please like and subscribe. That helps me out a lot. Thanks for watching. Take care.